a good explanation for Starfield's border controversy. Folks are pretending to be mad at Bethesda Game Studios for making a Bethesda Game Studio game, and it's hilarious. So there's this new game called Starfield. Really? It releases in early access on Thursday. It's what? the first new IP from Bethesda in 25 years. Holy They're the shit. folks who sold you Skyrim like 19 times and also the Fallout series. But some folks are just like beyond angry because there's been some leaks that are, I think, more or less confirmed by the studio about some boundaries in the game. Yeah. And people were expecting just like... The most impossible thing ever. Trying to simulate an entire unbroken seamless universe is very, very hard. No Man's Sky attempted it. They have like a quintillion planets. You can go from the surface of a planet up into space. Mm -hmm. And they added a bunch of content to the game over five years. That's so it's not the them. disaster that it was when it launched. But at its core, it's kind of boring. As a purely space sim, it is very impressive. But if you're looking for, like, an RPG Bethesda experience, you're not going to find it there, obviously. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people are going to go into Starfield. I, I think the reason why people have been negative about Starfield is because the first impression of the game was pretty bad. I, I, I think that's really what happens. And it's kind of like what I said before, that as soon as people was it, yeah, I think it was. I do. I, I, I think that the first impression of Starfield was pretty bad. Yeah, I, I, I didn't. And, and also, like, yeah, you're right. There's fall, like, Fallout wasn't very good. Once people have decided something's bad, it's bad. Now, Bethesda has been saying that you can land anywhere you want on a planet Crazy. and it generates stuff around you. And people got it in their head that you could just go anywhere you wanted, whenever you wanted, and there would be absolutely no boundaries. They were mad when they found out that going from the surface of the planet to space was a cutscene instead of seamless, because trying to design that would take away from all the other systems. Now they're mad because when you land on the planet, we're being told you probably can't walk around the entire circumference of it. Okay. Apparently, when you land, the game generates a map around you of roughly 45 minutes of walking distance from your ship. And they're also mad that the space map is designed around you grab jumping around. So if you're like in the solar system uh, next to Earth and you look over at Mars and go, I want to go to Mars, instead of taking the three months it would take to fly there, assuming we were in a good orbit, instead you just grab jump there instantaneously. You know, because it's a video game and you don't have three months to fly to Mars. You have... Well, yeah, I mean, wait, so I don't think anybody's mad about that. Are people actually <laughs> mad about that? Yeah, n no shit, people. Are, no, no shit. You're gonna teleport around. Who's saying this? Twitter? No. It's so bizarre that people are mad that this game isn't something it was never saying it was going to be. I think that really it's not about that. I think that people are just unhappy in general with the state of AAA gaming. And you combine that with a bad first impression of Starfield, and they're like trying to brace themselves for disappointment. Because gamers have had so many disappointments, so many times. Somebody's gonna mod Planet Skyrim into this and Todd will once again get away with it. Bethesda says modders will be able to create their own planets and stories. So you can play Skyrim inside of Starfield? Oh God. That feature is not coming out at launch.